Hello everyone, welcome back to another lecture. This one is lesson three of the trigonometry unit. Uh, word problems, so it is uh, taking words, drawing the picture, uh, labeling our sides or our angles, uh, whatever is necessary, and then uh, solving the problem, again using Sokotoa, sine, cos, and tan. Um, let's jump right in. Um, the first problem is on your screen right below me. Uh, a 10 foot ladder leans against the side of a building with its base four feet from that wall. What is the angle to the nearest degree? Uh, what angle to the nearest degree does the ladder make with the ground? So we are um, drawing, let's say, a wall. Let's draw this wall. Boom, drew a wall. And it has a 10 foot ladder leaning against it. Okay, so that's 10 feet, and that's the ladder. And it says that the base is four feet from the wall. So that means that that is four feet. And it wants to know what angle to the nearest degree does the ladder make with the ground? And that would be this angle. The ladder and the ground make that angle. So now, knowing that this is a right angle, the wall and the ground should make a right angle, uh, I can label my sides opposite adjacent and hypotenuse to determine um, which ratio I need to use. So across is always hypotenuse, uh, that's from the right angle, and then across from the angle of interest is always the opposite side. And then touching the angle of interest that is not the hypotenuse is always the adjacent side. So I can see that I'm interested in the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, which is cos. So cosine of theta is equal to adjacent, which is four over hypotenuse, which is 10. And again, I need to inverse um, this ratio here to get what the angle would be. This would just get us a decimal, but when I apply the inverse cos function to it, I get an angle. So theta is equal to the cos inverse of 4 tenths. Um, so let's do that. So we have 4 divided by 10 equals 0.4, then we are going to cosine inverse to get 66.4. It wants it to the nearest degree, so it is 66 degrees. That is our final answer. The ladder and the ground make an angle of 66 degrees. So let's write that. The ladder and ground and ground make angle of 66 degrees. Boom. Complete. Move on to the next problem here. So, uh, in this one, we have a horizontal distance of 200 meters from the base of an observation tower. Okay, so Let's draw the tower. This is the tower. And then 200 meters away from it. 200 meters away from it. Uh, let's see. The angle between the ground and the line of sight to the top of the tower here. So the ground and the line of sight to the top of the tower is 8 degrees. It wants to know how high the tower is. So we have two pieces of information, want to find a third. We should be able to do that using our ratios. Uh, let's label our sides. The tower should make a 90 degree angle with the ground. So that makes this side the hypotenuse. Opposite of the eight degree angle is the opposite. And adjacent is here. So we're interested in opposite and adjacent, which is tan. So tan of eight degrees is equal to opposite, which is x over adjacent which is 200. We can solve for x by moving the 200 up and multiplying it by tan 8. So x is equal to 200 times the tan of 8 degrees, which means that x is equal to 28 meters. So the tower is 28 meters tall. We always write our word problems off with a sentence. And uh, 
exclamation point never hurts. So the tower is 28 meters tall. We took the information from the problem. We drew our diagram systematically. We then took what we knew and turned it into what we wanted to know. We have another problem here, and it has to do with a plane. As you know, I'm good at drawing planes. So looking forward to this one. So a water bomber is flying at an altitude of 500 feet. Okay, let's draw that. 500 feet above the water. We have a plane. Again, I can draw planes, so I will. That is a water bomber. It is 500 feet above the, um, above the ground or above the water. And the plane radar shows that it is 8,000 feet from the site. So I believe that this is actually an altitude of 5,000. Um, so that's what, that's what it looks like in my uh, calculations here. So I made another typo. Happens quite a bit. So this is actually 5,000 feet. I apologize about that. 5,000 feet. And a radar shows that um, it is 8,000 feet from the target site. So let's make the target site here. And it says that it is 8,000 feet from the target site. So it wants to know what the angle of elevation is from the target site to the plane. Um, we are then going to label our sides. So I know that's, that's 90 degrees. So that means that this is the hypotenuse. Opposite of our angle of interest is always the opposite, not touching it. And then touching it is the adjacent. So we are going to be interested in opposite and hypotenuse, which is sine. So sine of theta is equal to opposite, which is 5,000 over 8,000, which is the hypotenuse. We then inverse those. So theta would be equal to the inverse sine of 5,000 divided by 8,000. And theta would then equal, let's see, 39 degrees. So the angle of elevation is 39 degrees. Always ended off with a sentence. Now we are going to have uh, a problem that can kind of have two solutions uh, depending on where Ted and Marshall are standing. So um, let's see here. I'm going to change this. This is going to be four. I can do that. Excellent. Okay. So that means I can add 5,000 to here as well. I'm going to do that too. Excellent. Okay. So Ted and Marshall are both looking up at the Calgary Tower. The Calgary Tower is uh, 191 meters high. So let's draw the Calgary Tower. Wait, 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 wait. Let's read the rest of this first. The angle of sight for Ted to the top of the tower is 85 degrees and the angle is 61 for Marshall. What is the distance between Marshall and Ted if they're on the same side of the tower? So I'm going to be drawing both lines of sight off to the right this time. So I've got my tower that is 191 meters tall. It's not very straight, but it'll do. And I know that Ted is looking at an angle of 85 degrees while Marshall is looking at an angle of 61 degrees to the top of the tower. Now what we want to know is the distance here between them. So we want to know this distance. To do that we can calculate the distance from Ted to the tower the distance from Marshall to the tower, and then subtract. So we can calculate Ted's distance. We can calculate Marshall's distance, and then subtract them to find out the distance between the two. Um, this is a right angle, and these are both going to be hypotenuses. And these are both going to be the adjacent side as well. means this, the 191 meter side, is the opposite. So let's do, um, let's find out what T and M those two distances are. 
Uh, because we're using opposite and adjacent, we're going to be using tan. So tan of 85, we're starting with 10, is equal to 191 over t. And when the denominator is the unknown, we switch these two. So t is equal to 191 divided by the tan of 88. And t is equal to 16.7 meters. So Ted's standing pretty close to the Calgary Tower. Let's do Marshall next. So um, tan this time again, this is the same because we have the same uh, side, type of triangle. So it's the tan of 61 is equal to 191 divided by the M this time, the adjacent side, the full length. So we switch those two. So we get M is equal to 191 divided by the tangent of 61. And M equals 105.9 meters. So to find the distance between them, I'm going to subtract the two. So D is equal to the long one, subtract the short one. It's equal to 105.9, subtract 16.7, which equals, I'm gonna write it up here because I'm running out of space, which equals 89.2 uh, meters for D. I'm not quite done. I need to write out my sentence. So, um, with Ted and Marshall, on the same side, they are 89.2 meters apart. Now, what if they were on opposite sides of the tower? How far apart would they be? That's our next question. Let's get to it. So, what's the distance between Marshall and Ted if they are on opposite sides of the tower? Let's draw a little diagram. We have our tower in the middle. Again, not very straight. That's okay, it'll do. And Ted is going to be on this side today. And Marshall is going to be on this side. Um, angles, right angles are still here. So that means that this distance is still T and this distance is still M. So the ratios that we use don't change at all. We still have opposite and adjacent. Um, all we need to do to find the distance is instead of subtracting them, we need to add those two values from the previous question up. So we had found that M was 105.9 and we had found that T already was 16.7. Uh, therefore, the distance between them is 122.6 meters. So on opposite sides, they are 122.6 meters apart. And it is the last question. Let's do a smiley face exclamation point to keep it uh, interesting. Uh, thanks very much for watching, everyone. I hope you're able to get a lot out of this, be able to turn word problems into diagrams, and then be able to um, solve the problem using, using Sokotoa. Um, we'll be starting another lesson next time. So thanks very much.